No, he accused me of attacking people, and I said, can you tell me what I said? And he couldn't. I have not attacked anyone. And you have free speech in Sweden. There's free speech in Sweden. I don't think you're listening to me. You have free speech in Sweden. Yes. And I was told I could stand right here and preach the Bible. And I have the Bible. This is not a Quran. If this was a Quran, could I read it? If this was a Quran, could I read it? Oh Lord God, to whom vengeance belongs, oh God, to whom vengeance belongs, show thyself, lift up thyself, thou judge of the earth, render a reward to the proud. Lord, how long shall the wicked, how long shall the wicked how long shall they utter and speak hard things and all the workers of iniquity boast themselves they break in pieces thy people O Lord and afflict thine heritage they slay the widow the stranger and murder the fatherless Yet they say, the Lord shall not see, neither shall the God of Jacob regard it. Understand, you brutish among the people, and ye fools, when will he be wise? He that planted the ear shall he not hear he that form the eye shall he not see he that chasten the heathen shall not he correct Let me get my camera. Let me get my camera. Then you leave. I can untie it. We will let we will let you stay on the other side of the room. Okay. Okay. All right. He's gonna let me go on the other side of the road. The gospel is this. Jesus died on the cross for your sins. He was buried. God raised him from the dead. Three days later, he was seen alive by over 500 people according to the scriptures. What must I do to get saved? Repent. Believe the gospel. Turn to Jesus Christ. Repent. Repent of your sins. Turn. Turn to the living God. Jesus Christ so, uh, is the said, way. Jesus yeah. Christ is the truth. You must turn to Jesus if you want forgiveness of sins. There's only one way to heaven. It is through Jesus Christ. The blood of Jesus cleanses from all sin. Nothing you've done is too bad for Jesus not to forgive you. God loves you. There's only one God. His name is Yahweh. His name is Emmanuel. You are allowed to God with hey, us. Lady, listen to me. 
Listen to me now. You're not, you have free speech, but you're not allowed to harass people and yell by yelling. If you keep doing it, we will take you away from here. We let you stay here, read the Bible, it's fine, it's no problem. There's only one way to heaven! Jesus Christ is the Son of the Living God! There are many ways to hell! There's only one way to heaven! Jesus Christ! Hallelujah, Finland! Woo! I haven't been here since 2018. It's been a long time. I love Finland. It's one of the most beautiful places in the world. And uh, my first trip here was 2015. And I came to preach here the Bible in the snow with a, fin uh, a guy from Poland. Praise God. And Matthew, thanks for asking. I know many of you wondering, how's Matthew doing? Well, he met a wife over in Honduras. God gave her a dream that she was going to marry a blonde-haired, blue-eyed guy. She didn't know anybody in Honduras with blonde hair, blue eyes. But God is the way maker, miracle worker, promise keeper. And God connected them all the way from Honduras to Poland. They came together. Now they are married. As soon as they met each other in the Columbia airport, they were kissing, kissing, kissing. Hallelujah. What God joins together, let no man put asunder. Amen. God will bring people together for kingdom marriages, but God also will bring people here today to hear the gospel. The gospel is more important. Your soul is more important than your family. The gospel is more important than your job. The most important decision of your life is what God you will choose. You say, I don't have a God. No, you do have a God. You do have a God. Your God might be you. Every day you look in the mirror and you put on your makeup and you brush your teeth, you may say, in you I trust. Oh, I'm going to let you make all your decisions. You can destroy your own life with your own decisions. I know I did. I was an alcoholic and a drug addict for many years. I was raised in church from the time I was uh, adopted at three weeks old until I was 18. And when I turned 18, I walked out of church. They were all praying, had their heads bowed, their eyes closed, and I said, I'm out of here. I'm out of here. I'm 18. I have a right to decide whether I go to church or not. And I said, I'm done with church. And God said, go ahead. You can leave church if you want. Many people have left church. Not all churches are ordained by God. Look at the Catholic Church in Rome. That church is not ordained by God. There are many churches that are the synagogue of Satan. Our God would not warn us so much 
in the Bible about one of the last signs in the last days are false prophets. Muhammad is a false prophet. The Bible says the blind leading the blind, you'll surely fall into a ditch. There is a way that seems right unto man, but in the end, it leads to death. You see my socks? Everybody take a moment, get your cameras out, take a picture of my socks. Okay? They're pretty cool, I know, that's why I'm wearing them. I bought these socks in Israel. Yeah, why are you shaking your head, sir? Hell's real. And so is the fire of the Holy Spirit. Sunday is Pentecost, the day that the fire of God fell on uh, God's people. And they went immediately from the upper room while they were waiting on the promise of the Father to the streets like we're doing now to declare Jesus Christ is Lord. That Jesus Christ died on the cross for our sins. He was buried. God raised him from the dead three days later. He was seen by over 500 people according to the scriptures. So there's, there's fire uh, of the Holy Spirit. That's why I wear these socks. I wear these socks because it's Pentecost on Sunday. But I also wear these socks as a way to warn you Finnish people and the tourists that there is a hellfire and damnation. Hell is real. You can't take out hell out of the Bible just like you can't take out Pentecost in the Bible. The fire of God wants to fall here in Helsinki, Finland. Sir, why well, you got your fingers in your ears? No matter where you go, God follows you. No matter, God doesn't exist. God's more real than you. God's more real than you. I don't know who you are. Who do you think you are? God is powerful. God is my everything. He's my Savior. He's my Lord. He's my best friend. The Bible calls him wonderful. Counselor. Sir, do you need a counselor? A lot of people don't think they need one. Oh, I don't need counseling. I don't need counseling. You may need counseling more than you think. Guess what? Dr. Cummins is here today. You're welcome, ma'am. You're welcome. I am your soul doctor. I can help you get to heaven, ma'am. You need Jesus. You need Jesus, finished lady. The only way to heaven is Jesus Christ. You got to repent, put your faith in him. You don't need to go shopping, ma'am. You need a Bible. You need a Bible. And you can get the Bible free. People are out here shopping for uh, spring clothes. I got to get something that is yellow. I got to get something spring looking. Maybe something with some tulips on it. You can discern the season, but can you discern uh, the seasons of the Lord? The seasons of the Lord. Jesus said uh, in the last days that people would be lovers of themselves. The Bible talks about people would be lovers of themselves, boasters, proud, disobedient to parents. Lawbreakers, despising good. Oh, we're living that way, people. People call good evil and evil good. Get well soon. Yeah, the world is sick, sir. And the world needs Dr. Jesus. 
Well, Arabs can come to Jesus, and we all love Jesus together. Arabs are not the problem. Sin is the problem. Come on. Mic drop. Mic drop. Anybody hear that? Arabs are not the problems. Jews are not the problems. The government is not the problem. Sin is the problem. Sin is anything Jesus would not do. Lying. God cannot lie. Lusting. Let me say it like this. Lusting. When's the last time you had an old man after you, ma'am? Have you had an old man try to grab you and kiss you lately? Or maybe it's a woman that wants to kiss you. You never know in this country. This country has gay pride. Oh, what's there so great about pride, hell seeking? The Bible says pride goes before a fall. Whoopsie, I just fell down. What caused you to fall down? Pride. Pride goes before a fall. Don't touch my stuff. You, you switch it off. You're, you're sl stuff. scandalizing the whole don't town. Stop. Switch it off. No, yes, we don't. Switch it's it off. Right. Loud. It's too loud. It's breaking everyone's fucking ears. And you can walk so far. Far, even before so you So don't start. make it so loud. You say what you want, but not so loud. You know, I don't and need no, the microphone. No feedback. No feedback. Better. I can preach loud without a microphone. <laughs> You two men need to repent. Hallelujah. You need to repent. Only Jesus Christ can forgive your sins. Hallelujah. Apparently you don't like an anti-pride message. Satan was kicked out of heaven for pride. Pride is the devil's favorite sin. God hates pride. How do you know? I'm glad you asked. Is this thing still running? <laughs> okay, praise the Lord, Einhoven. I just got done preaching uh, a message to share my testimony how 30 years ago today Jesus Christ the anointed one set me free from crack cocaine I have not touched cocaine in 30 years praise the Lord so I share with uh, you that today and uh, I prayed about what uh, what city God would like me to share this message? Ten years ago, on my 20th anniversary off of uh, my drug addiction, I, I preached in Amsterdam, and I bought this ring that says Jesus uh, to remember. And for ten years, I've been wearing this ring and using this ring as a reminder to people that are seeking the Lord that Jesus is not looking for a girlfriend. Jesus wants to put a ring on it. Uh, Jesus is coming back. No one knows the day or the hour, but Jesus is coming back for a bride. The Bible says Jesus is coming back for the bride of Christ. And not everyone that says, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of God. Jesus said these words. Not everybody that says, Lord, Lord, uh, on that day, he will allow into his kingdom. There are many false 
converts in the world that claim the title Christian, but by their fruit, uh, there's no evidence of being a bride of Christ. Anybody can put a cross around their neck. Anybody can wear a ring or get a, a Jesus tattoo. I would say many uh, Hispanic countries are full of jails with uh, tattoos of Mary and Jesus. Even one of the biggest cocaine dealers of all times, uh, Pablo Escobar, he would have a picture of Jesus by his bed while he was doing the unthinkable to people. You can't uh, promote cocaine to the world and call yourself a Christian. Now you can be a Catholic, you can be an Orthodox, you can uh, say whatever you want about yourself. But what matters is, what does Jesus say about you? What does God say about you? Because the Bible says, unless your name, talking about your name, is written in the Lamb's Book of Life. Let me read it straight from the Bible. When you hear it straight from the Bible, maybe there's a little bit more uh, possibility. Maybe you believe me. Revelations 20:15 declares, and whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. So for those of you that don't believe the Bible uh, speaks of a lake of fire, well, it's in there, people. The wrath of God is in the Bible. Damnation is in the Bible. And grace is in the Bible. The Bible says we are saved by grace, not of works, lest any man should boast. That means you and I cannot save ourselves and go to heaven. No one goes to heaven through good works. The Bible says no one is good. No, not one, except God. And as a Christian, I believe Jesus is God. I do not believe Jesus is only a prophet. He's certainly not a prophet of Islam. Jesus is too holy and respected to be a part of Islam. Can I get an amen? Thank you. I appreciate that. We got one amen. There's another amen. That's the devil's horns, sir. Let go of the devil's horns and get a hold of the throne of God's horns. Let me tell you something, people. You need to put on your parachute because you're going to have to eventually jump out of the plane. What does that mean? I've never been on a plane. I don't have a passport. I don't want to ride a plane. I want to ride a bicycle. Okay, it's only like a parable or a... Uh, I'm comparing. The point is judgment day. We're all going to die. Ten out of ten people die. And then we stand before our Creator God and give an account 
for our lives. Did you obey Jesus? Well, first of all, did you believe in Jesus? Did you believe in Jesus? When Jesus was on the cross, there was a man to the left of him and a man to the right of him. One was mocking Jesus and the other guy uh, changed his mind. He repented right there. That can show you could be looking at the last moments of your life. Be ready to take your final breath and decide, ah, I still don't want Jesus. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Fools despise wisdom and instruction, okay? I told these uh, young men that are sitting here smoking a few minutes ago while I was singing to, to uh, please not uh, smoke out of your uh, pipes. So, uh, huffing, vaping is worse than cigarettes. And they've come back with their vaping to join the congregation here. You are very welcome. I want you to hear the Bible. I used to smoke cigarettes myself. I smoked 11 years. I smoked uh, Salem Lights, Marlboro Red. Uh, I didn't like camels so much. Mostly Marlboro Lights. But God created us to praise Him. Let everything that hath breath praise ye the Lord. So do you realize every time you smoke, you're actually harming the very body God gave you to praise Him? God gave you lungs to praise Him. What makes you so nervous? Now we got a guy on this side about to light a cigarette. What makes you so nervous in Nine Megan, or we're not in Nine Megan, in Einhoven that you feel the need to smoke? What are you calming your nerves about? Sir, why do you why do you smoke? I make you nervous? Okay, so you're smoking because a woman preacher with a Bible, purple Bible, makes you nervous. Okay, but you were smoking before you met me. So you premeditated your uh, cancer stick. You know those give you cancer. It says, beware. Every time you buy cigarettes, it warns you on the cigarettes of the damage it can do to your body. And I'm telling you, according to the Bible, the soul that sins dies. That the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life through who? Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. No one goes to the Father except through Him. Just the other day, Paris was mocking Christianity and the Lord's Supper. Right after that, a Brazil a skateboarder uh, won a prize and they told her not to promote Jesus and she apparently is uh, either deaf or she knows sign language. So she defied the Olympics and turned to the camera after she won her award and she did John 14, 6 
and sign language for the world to see that Jesus Christ is the way. Jesus Christ is truth. He is the light. And that no one goes to the Father except through Him. And apparently she got in trouble. Well, I'll tell you what. I would rather get in trouble in Paris, France for standing up for Jesus Christ than being the God mocker in Paris, France, mocking the Lord. Because the Bible is clear. Those that sow to righteousness will reap a good reward. Those that sow uh, uh, mocking, blasphemy, uh, God will not let those that mock him go unpunished. It's one of the Ten Commandments. Exodus 20, verse 7. Thou shalt not take the name of the Lord thy God in vain, for the Lord will not hold him guiltless that taketh his name in vain. Hi there. Good to see you, officer. We've got police over here, police here. I was going to preach a message about the death of the wicked. Maybe I'll start that message now. Ecclesiastic, not Ecclesiastes. Ezekiel. Eighteen twenty three declares, Have I any pleasure at all that the wicked should die? Saith the Lord God, and not that he should return from his ways and live. Today on the news. It was reported that a very wicked man has been killed. Not murdered, killed. There is a difference between killing and murder. The Bible says in Ecclesiastes, there is a time to love and there's a time to hate. There's a time to kill. The Bible says that. Not everybody that's been killed has been murdered. There is a difference. Therefore, I will judge you, O house of Israel, everyone according to his ways. Saith the Lord God, repent and turn yourselves from all your transgressions. So iniquity shall not be your ruin. Cast away from you all your transgressions, whereby ye have transgressed, and make ye you a new heart and a new spirit. For why will you die, O house of Israel? For I have no pleasure in the death of him that dieth, saith the Lord God. Wherefore? Turn yourselves and live. And that is what Jesus, uh, when he started preaching, he went out healing the set, uh, sick, going village to village. Jesus was a street preacher, and he preached repent. That means change your mind. 
That's what I did. I was going in the way of hellfire. I was going in the way of the world. I was going in the way of my way, uh, my desires, not the will of God, not God's purpose for my life, but my way. That's the theme song in hell. I did it my way. Woo, thank you for not clapping until I got done. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for coming to church today. I might be the only church you boys and girls ever see. Church is not a building. One out of five churches in the Netherlands close. Uh, if the truth be told, more churches in the Netherlands need to close. Because the purpose of the church is to equip the saints to do the works of God's service. Ephesians 4, 11, 12, 13. The purpose of the church is to glorify the Lamb of God on His throne, to preach the gospel, to bless the Lord. There's a difference between singing and worship. Do you know you can sing and not be worshiping? No. God wants us to worship in spirit and in truth. I might not be able to read from the Bible during the rain, but I can preach from my heart. The book of Ezekiel 1 speaks of July 31st. Right off the bat, Ezekiel was known as a prophet. Uh, the father of Judaism to bring Jews back from exile, destroying idolatry, replacing their heart of stone with a heart of flesh, Ezekiel 11, 14 through 20. And I find it very interesting that on July 31st, that the leader of Hamas was taken down. <laughs> Jesus Christ died on the cross for our sins. He was buried. God raised him from the dead three days later. Repent, believe the gospel. God is not willing that any perish, but that all come to repentance. Many people watch the sunsets in Santorini and even clap as the sun goes down at God's creation. But many people worship God's creation more than God. And God is a jealous God. He is a good God. God created the world for us to enjoy, but God did not create the world for us to have sun worship, water worship, and clap for the creation. The Bible says creation alone shows that there is a God. We are without excuse. Only a fool says in his heart, there is no God.
You are responsible for creation. And the Bible says, prepare to meet thy God. There is only one God. And it is not the God of the sun or the God of moon, Allah. Or the God of the Vatican, the sun God. That moved the Sabbath to Sunday. The one true God is the God of Israel. The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. God has a son, Jesus Christ. And only Jesus Christ can wash away sins. Jesus died on the cross to demonstrate the authority and love of God. God sent Jesus to die on the cross for our sins. We've all sinned against God. Each and every one of us, the Son and the creation can be idols. Your very pleasure before God can be an idol. And God is jealous. God is a jealous God. He deserves worship, honor, and praise. Jesus was taken off the cross and buried. But on the third day, the tomb was rolled away. And Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ, the Jewish Valentine, the Jewish Son of the Living God, stepped out alive with nail-pierced hands, with piercings in his feet. He's alive. Over 500 people saw Jesus Christ, Yeshua, alive. The question today is, if you died, would you go to heaven or hell? If you died, would you be ready to face God? Anybody else want to say shut up? Anybody else? I'm just doing a sound check to make sure you hear. Because the Bible says it is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. Your days are numbered. You are not promised tomorrow. Only a fool says in his heart, there's a tomorrow. Jesus said, store up treasure in heaven, not on earth where moth and rust can get to it. For Hallelujah. where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. The Greeks gave us the Bible. Let's clap for the Bible. Hallelujah. Let's clap for the New Testament. Hallelujah. Yay. God's not dead. God's alive. Amen. Hallelujah.